Alright my guys, we're doing a winner. The Gul and I are Dara Gnorua and Dara Walnora um, down in border country in Minto Heights. Today is a bit of a different video. See, a lot of you have been asking about a camp location I went to a few weeks back. Well, this is the video for it. I'm down at Sun Valley Nudist Retreat in Minto Heights. That's right guys, I've spent a couple of days down here butt naked. All right, so stick with us guys. I'll give you a good look around the place. Don't worry, you won't have to see much of me. And we'll sit back in a little while and we'll have a chat with the camp owner Ted and give you guys a bit of a run through of what this place is all about, where it's come from and what it actually is. All right guys, let's get into the intro and I'll see you shortly.
guys. I hope you've enjoyed the look around Sun Valley Nudist Retreat. It is set, as you can see, in a really stunning location down on the Georges River here. Now we're going to sit down with Ted, the owner of the property, and we're going to have a bit of a chat about some of the history and how you can find him, what's available, things like that. So, how you going, Ted? G'day. <laughs> All right, mate. First question I want to ask you is how long has Sun Valley been around for? Sun Valley, I believe, is it's the first nudist property in New South Wales. I've got literature going back to 1936, and I know it goes back further than that. So uh, it's it's not the, it's not the oldest nudist club. It's never yep. been a club. It's a it's always been like private property as such, and um, it's been opened up to the, to people and like, I mean friends and all that. Then then it just opened up to everyone. That's yep. a the, the, that's a nudist that word of mouth. Yeah, that's how much. it all started. Yeah. So 1930s. That's coming up on 100 years old now. Well, it could be, yes, yes. Yeah. I says, I've got literature going back to that. But yeah, it, I know it does go back further than that. Um, yeah. Right back. All right. Um, how long have you been running it for? I've been running for probably about 25 years now. Oh. I have, uh, it's probably been 30 years I've been coming here. Yeah, fair at enough. the start. But uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've uh, started running the place about 25 years. Yeah. And uh, as the uh, original owner passed away and... Um, I, uh, I took over the uh, the reins as such. Yeah, fair enough. That it's a fair time to be running it. I mean, you would have seen some changes through here, and yeah, I've seen a lot of changes. It uh, <coughs> it all uh, every year's different type of thing, and oh, yeah, uh, you know, it's up and down. And uh, some years are good, some years are not so good, whatever. And uh, yeah, it sort of changes all the time. Yep. Right, so, what actually got you into the nudist lifestyle? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> I suppose. I, I've probably been in this all my life. Uh, basically, this river here is, was my backyard when I was a kid. Oh, nice. We had um, a farm up up, um, up the river there, 40 acres there, so I was always walking around this river here, swimming, fishing, and things like that, we mate, and things like that, and basically just doing skinny dipping. Yeah, fair enough. And uh, sort of just from there, just never sort of... Never got, stopped. Yeah, just <laughs> never, never. Once you, once you skinny dip, it's just yeah. you never want to wear costumes again. Oh, I agree with that. Well, to be honest, that's sort of what got me. And it was my first time skinny dipping down at uh, Percy's Place at Pit Town. And yeah, from there it's sort of grown. So, what is your main demographic of people that come through here? Well, last few years, uh, well, last few years hasn't been too good because of the COVID yeah, and all that true. sort of stuff. But, that's true. but yeah, uh, but prior to that, uh, what uh, a lot of my clientele have been uh, international people. There's been a lot of backpackers. Yep. I advertise through uh, Wiki Camps, and it's a very popular uh, camping app. Yep. And a lot of travellers and backpackers, especially, use the Wiki Camp um, app to find camp spots and things like that. Yep. And they can find nudist places on there, the ones that have registered, like myself. And well, they're the ones that come come through. What's one thing you would say to somebody that's first time considering getting into news <laughs> or checking a place like this out? Ah, uh, as you see, I just say just do it. But I mean, it is a type of thing you just got to do. When when I have um, uh, the visitors come in, and a lot of them in the last few years, it's their first time. Yep. So it's just basically. It's like a band-aid. You just got to rip it off. Get in there and just try. And I just say to them straight out, "I says, is this the first time you've been in it?" They say, "Yes." I said, "Well, get your gear off and I'll show you around." Yep. Well, their eyes look up and down. They don't know what to do. <laughs> and after an hour, they're just quite used to it. Yeah. I just sort of let them go. And the biggest seller, as I says, I say, "Go for a swim." Yep. Once they get down the river, and they have a swim, once they skinny dip, they understand it all. Yeah. It talks for itself. You can. You can talk to blue in the face and they understand it. They've got to experience it, yep. and it's and once they experience it, they'll, it's it's a wonderful yeah. it's a wonderful lifestyle. And from my personal experiences, this is my second time down here. First time to come down here was with my wife for our anniversary a couple of years back, and I agree, you've just got to get down and you've got to try it. You might be uncomfortable for a little bit, but that wears off pretty darn quick. And then after, as you said, after an hour or so, you, you don't even think, that's don't even think about it. That's, that, that's correct. And I says, I've had them by the end of the day, they actually forget they're naked. Yeah. It's as simple and as that. You, so, you pretty well do. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you just, you just, you just got to try it. That's, yeah. You just got to do it. And, and, and it's a freedom 
and you do feel free. You do feel free, yeah. as a, if you want to use that word. That's it's just yeah, it's just, it's just a. At, at the end of the day, we're all born naked, so it's it's only natural. Well, I do agree. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's the main myth about nudist sites, camps, beaches, etc., that you'd like to see squashed? Well, basically, if no one's the biggest myth is for people that don't know anything about it is if they've got naked people, they automatically think it's some sort of big sexual thing. It's, it's as far from that as you can imagine. It, it, it is. is. But it's because people that don't, that are not lost or not used to it, all they think is they've got something deep down the back of their head. The only time I'm naked is when I have a shower or I'm having sex. Yeah. So if I'm not having a shower, it must be the other. Yeah. That's just nothing to do with it whatsoever. And, uh, and I they, completely agree with and that. They, and, they, and, and they find that out by once they yeah. come to it. And, and that's why clubs and established places that are controlled are a, a, a lot better for first-timers. Um, beaches are wonderful. There's a lot of good beaches around and things like that. Uh, and, but, yeah, people have just got to something that's in the back of their head they've heard since they were little and, yeah, you know, nerdy rudy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you hear that from exactly. a kid, you know. It's as simple as that. So. I mentioned to you yesterday, I've, I've been down to Birdie Beach a number of times over the last 12 months or so, and I actually feel weird walking along the beach while I've still got clothes on now. <laughs> um, because everybody else who around, yeah. rounds is naked, it gets to that point. That yeah. You just feel out of place. You feel weird. And you're not the only one that says that. It's, it's, mm. it's, it's happened here. Yeah. And uh, sure especially for some first-timers. Um, girls or whatever they may leave their bikini bottoms on for yep. whatever reason because they're a bit shy then after a while they just sort of look around and everyone else is naked and they feel very very overdressed and all they're, all they're wearing is, is <laughs> bikini bottoms <laughs> and, and they're uncomfortable because they are wearing it yeah. type of thing but uh, yeah it's, uh, it, it is that you if you're the only one with clothes on it is going to yeah. be a bit strange okay so you mentioned earlier wiki camps is that the main way for people to find you? Or? It is at the moment. It's, it's what's been working for me. It's a, it's a very good app, and uh, I said a lot of people, and travellers and everyone, uh, is on it. Uh, yeah, I don't uh, advertise any other way at the moment. I, mean, I did before, but I just found Wikicamps so, seem to be working at the moment. So if you get onto Wikicamps and, uh, and look at Sun Valley, uh, up Sun Valley, you'll find it there. All yep. the information's on there, all the details, contact details everything on there and um like i said it's um it's just a it's a bush camp yep. uh that's the other thing i tell people if you like camping you'll like the place if you don't like camping well you mightn't like it because you like the other yeah. amenities but if you do like camping you'll like the place because that's all it is is camping there's many other clubs out there beautiful clubs out there there's a lots and lots of nudist places in there and they're set up wonderfully yep. um they have vans all, and on sites, and they got you yeah. know they got cabins and everything else like that. You know, uh, if, if that's what you want. But uh, Sun Valley is for camping, so yeah. I do provide a uh, toilet block there. It's got uh, clean amenities there, hot and cold shower, showers, and um, river to swim in. And yeah. basically, we're pretty. Uh, yeah, it's just camping. If, if you like camping, you like the place, that's yeah. for sure. Because everyone then is self-sufficient yeah. as such. Well, that was going to be the next question, is what amenities do you provide? Now, as you mentioned, you do have showers, you do have toilets. They're a hot water shower too, not just a cold water shower. It, the property is on water tank only though, isn't it? Yeah, it's on tank tank water, which is uh, okay, but you know, uh, that, that's, that's no big deal. Um, but um, also, I don't have powered sites, so yes, a caravan can come in. Uh, You've got to be self-contained though, power-wise. And... That's right, with the power and things yep. like that, you have to be self-contained. Uh, yes, I do have a dump point uh, for those that uh, need that, that have a caravan with them facilities, uh, have their own en-suites and things like that. I have that, and uh, yeah, I says, but no powered no yeah. powered sites. And if you are here and you want to have a shower, because it is on water tank, don't make it last an hour. Just <laughs> well, have, have a quick shower or wash I, and I, 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 I've, I've got a switch for that. It's, it goes for three minutes. Ah, fair enough. You push the button. And Fair it'll enough. turn off in three minutes, and three minutes is enough. But you can push it again if you want to. Yep. It's no, it's no, uh, it's no big deal. Yeah. But but three minutes is plenty. Just be courteous and try and take it easy. Hmm. Um, last question I've got for you is: What plans do you have for this in the future? Good question. But I'd like to start having a few festivals, small festivals here, and things like that, uh, just for something different. And. Um, or a few more people in and well, yeah and it's just it's just so there's um 
more to do than just laying around swimming and things yep. like that. If there's a bit of a festival and for some reason it could be a, whatever, an arts and craft or something, I'm going to use that as an example, or a, or, or a cooking weekend or something yep. like that, it might be um, you know, vegetarian meals or, or, or um, I've seen other sides of you know, barbecue cooking and yep. things like that to learn something like that. Or it could be, uh, well, not a music festival, but uh, nothing with, <laughs> no, but it could be a, a small one there, like with, with acoustics or something yep. like that. No, uh, you don't want a big bush off? No, <laughs> no, 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 no bush doffs. No, it's out of the question. Well, it's not big enough to have that. Uh, but yeah, I have been to other places, uh, other festivals over there and different things, and they're, they're quite good. And I thought, well, that's, uh, that's quite interesting. Why not incorporate that? into this yeah. and uh, and like other nudist places they always try to have some sort of thing they usually have parties themes and all that sort of stuff so yeah i was just thinking that maybe for the younger generation um as such uh, there's a lot of older people in in the nudist movement uh, but the younger generation now is starting to become i think it just goes in waves yeah. you know, and, and things like that but that's all over the world the younger ones travel a bit more yeah. than, uh, <laughs> than me but, hey. uh, but still, that's yeah. It's just something, uh, something a little bit different. I'm not quite sure yet. A cook-up thing would be actually quite cool, I think. Um, especially if you had a meat vegetarian and then vegan, so people could go through and try all options, well, things well, like that. Things like that, they can have it, and, and it does happen elsewhere. It's not that you know, no. not that I'd be the first one I've ever done that. That does happen in, in yep. other places, and I'm thinking that's quite a good idea. I yeah. might, might yeah. steal that idea and use it here. Oh, such, you know? <laughs> and uh, but anything type of thing, even um, I, I don't know. The, there's a million things out there yeah. to, to, to think, but, but just something a little bit different. Yep. Uh, that piques people's interest, not just to, uh, not just for uh, sunbaking and lying around yeah. or something like that. If there's some sort of activity that, that uh, you know, I said arts and crafts, any anything. You yeah. know? There's another thing I'm really interested in a little bit is the music of the plants. Yeah, you were mentioning uh, that to me yesterday. Yeah, it's a little box you plug on the tree, and, and it plays music, and you can do different things. It's just just something a little bit different. Yep. I want to try and branch out a little yeah, bit different enough. type of thing. Alrighty. Well, I think that's all the questions I've got for you. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to add yourself? No, uh, not really. It's uh, I said the unfortunately the uh, last couple of years have not been real good. Uh, I said with the COVID and the lockdowns, yep. and uh, cause this last summer wasn't that good. Uh, the rains we've had recently and all that sort of stuff hasn't yeah, been hasn't been great for people to go away camping and things I've actually like that. been lucky to get a couple of nice days down here. <laughs> <laughs> we got a nice one today, which is good. But then and the forecast is coming back, so I'm heading home tomorrow. Unfortunately. Ah, oh, well, that's, that's the way that's the way it is. Everyone's in, a lot yeah. of people in a, in a worse off uh, oh, position definitely. than I'm in, so I'm I'm very lucky. But so I'm just uh, yeah, I got a. Uh, outdoor kitchen I'm yet to uh, finish off which I'll finish off this winter for uh, yep. ne next summer so I'm just looking forward to next summer yeah but definitely it, it, um, people can still like to come here in the winter they, of course <laughs> if it's cold you put something on but still this is nice to go down the river have a bit of a bush walk if yep. you want or just you know oh, sitting there re reading a book type of thing and you've seen footage of the walk that I did uh, through here I actually filmed that yesterday going through um, and it, it was really stunning walk through there yeah. Alrighty. Well, I think that's about all we need to cover, mate. So. Okay, thank you, Mick. Thank you. <laughs> well, guys, that's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video down here at Sun Valley Nudist Camp. It's really been an amazing couple of days and great to see Ted again and have a good chat. Hope it's encouraged you too to come down and check out a place like Sun Valley, be it, be it Sun Valley or another nudist camp. Uh, really wonderful time down here. Alright guys, take care, peace, and as always, I'll see you on the tracks. Yano!